Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. My name is Jason Sway, and this is my 1988 Toyota SR5 pickup. So 1988 was the very first year that Toyota introduced the 3 liter V6 that's in this truck, also known by Toyota enthusiasts as the 3 point slow, which they will call it right before they run away screaming, arms flailing, terrified that it's going to blow a head gasket. And yes, these engines had a tendency to blow head gaskets, but Toyota fixed the head gaskets in this truck under an extended recall, so yeah. When I bought this truck, it was completely rusted. The bed was 100% unsalvageable. The interior was not in the worst shape, but it wasn't exactly good either. It was just completely, everything was in disarray and disrepair, and it was honestly on its way out the door. Rust is the Achilles heel of these trucks. There is, you'll, you'll be hard pressed to find a single one out there that doesn't have some rust on it. Except for this one, which now has none whatsoever, and I'm very, very proud of that. There is just over 282,000 miles on the clock, and I had originally planned to either rebuild or replace this engine, but it's running strong, so until it doesn't, I'm just going to keep letting those miles roll up. I've wanted one of these trucks since I can remember. Uh, when I was a little kid and saw Back to the Future for the very first time, this was the truck. This was Marty McFly's truck. His was an 85, but whatever. I have wanted this truck. This was my dream truck as a child. My first ever vehicle when I was 16 years old was a 95 Toyota Tacoma, which I unfortunately totaled. And I have wanted another truck like it ever since then. My grandpa actually built this light bar for that Tacoma, and it was the one thing that we saved from the wreck. So that was the beginning for me and my grandpa and why he and I decided to restore this truck together. The first order of business was, of course, a complete engine tune-up. Toyota did the head gaskets on this truck in 1997, so that saved me a lot of worry and grief. Um, it was leaking a little oil around the valve cover gaskets and also had an exhaust leak when I got it, so I had my mechanic go ahead and replace all of those and also adjust the valves while he was in there, new PCV valve. I replaced all of the vacuum lines, hoses, relays, and valves and all of that. Um, new plugs and wires, new battery, post connectors, just basic maintenance that had been long overdue. If you're very, very hip to Toyota pickups in general, you'll notice that the front fenders are actually not four-wheel drive fenders. They are two-wheel drive fenders, which I ordered by mistake and then realized I actually like them a little bit better. They don't have as much flare, so you have more overhang on the tire, and it's something that's definitely unique to this truck. You won't see it on any other Toyota, really. This truck is not my daily driver, but it absolutely could be if I wanted it to be. And at some point, it honestly probably will be. It's had everything from a new clutch and slave cylinder, to new gears in the rear end, to new brakes. It's basically a brand new truck. The difference is that I only have a few thousand dollars in it versus spending 30 grand on a brand new one. And just like the brand new ones, I even put a GoPro mount in it. See? Saved you 30 grand. And it's way more special to me because my grandpa and I did almost all of it ourselves together. The most labor intensive, of course, being doing all the body work, replacing the entire bed, which we managed to find one at salvage with zero rust, which never happens, and then repainting and all of that fun stuff. Whoever bought this truck in 1988 paid a pretty good chunk of change for it because it's got every single factory option that was available at the time. The SR5 package, the first year of the V6, power windows, power locks, a factory alarm system that actually still works, sunroof, the whole shebang. And I'm very proud of the fact that today it is as nice as it has probably been in 20 years.
Well, that was this week's video, and to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.